apartment and bought the lot for $20. This piece sold for the asking price of $1,800, only listed for three days. The buyer even paid to overnight it to England. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for Share Your Best March Bolo. And these were posted by Bolo Buddies Facebook group members. So what I did is I shared a post that looks like this right here. And it says, share a sold link or a screenshot with item number of your best March Bolo. And you guys showed up. Um, I think I have four or five, maybe six videos coming your way for March. And we've got some big money bolos. Now, the first one here sold on Facebook Marketplace. So I am going to pop up a screenshot for you. And it says, got this vintage classic blue mighty Tonka tow truck double boom wrecker. Um, it says C1976, 18 and a half inches for $20 at Value Village. It sold for $140 on Marketplace, shipped, costed $30 to ship. It was even incomplete and had playware. My eBay store is K and K Authentic. So this one sold on Facebook Marketplace because it was so big. So it just made more sense. Um, but actually, you know, maybe they had it cross posted because they still shipped it. I guess I assumed it was uh, a pickup, but no, they shipped it. It cost thirty to ship it. So hmm. All right, there you go. Now here is another one. This is an I always said E-R-T-L, and then I heard auctions for you. I think it was auctions for you. Call it Ertl. <laughs> so I don't know. You guys let me know how you say it. It's an Ertl or E-R-T-L John Deere 116th scale 8870 articulating farm toy tractor four-wheel drive duels die cast for $20 at Value Vill Village sold for 140 on marketplace and cost 30 to ship it was even incomplete and had playware so same person sold at k and k authentic that's the ebay store and yeah facebook marketplace so making sales on facebook marketplace and if you don't know um if you're on list perfectly you can cross post your items to facebook marketplace and they do have the option for shipping now they've had it for quite a while now all right the next one i have a photo of but before I go on to the next one, if you guys want to share for April, uh, go over to the Facebook group and it will be pinned at the top of the group and it will say, share your best March Bolo. A lot of people are having trouble with the sold link. So you can do a screenshot and just give me an item number so I can find the item easily. Okay. And that will work also. All right. Let's check out this next Bolo. These are vintage red five inch Honda four tracks, metal die cast four wheelers lot of two uh value village for seven dollars it sold for 94 on ebay shipped it was even damaged and one missing a handlebar and this is k and k authentic so yes definitely 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 um damaged items do sell and it looks like this is in canada this next one oh my goodness look at this guy i got this from the goodwill for a dollar 25 it was in a bin of beanie babies so you might be skipping the Beanie Babies because they're Beanie Babies. But look what she found in the Beanie Baby bin. Oh, it was listed for a couple days before it sold. And it sold for full asking price of $250. So a hundred, I'm sorry, $1.25 into $250. It is a hard to find rare quest for Camelot Griffin plush Warner Brothers Hasbro toy stuffed vintage. All right, let's take a peek at the next one here. The next one is this Po Shun Leong. Ooh, I probably said that long, wrong. Architectural wood art box signed. Wow, look at this thing. That is a masterpiece. And I want to know where they got it and what they paid for it. Don't you? They found this at an estate sale for 65, sold the same day listed for asking price of $849.99. DFW Retroplex. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a great find. That is amazing. Wow. Never seen anything like that. 
Uh, the next one. All right. So this one, I could not pull up a photo, but I did want to share it with you because uh, this is a car speaker, a vintage pioneer, old school, 100, I think W is what maybe car speaker says, bought this item from Goodwill, paid 10 plus tax, sold for best offer of 151.75 plus 40.90 shipping. This is uh, replacement parts and vintage items on eBay. And so maybe something that you might pass up. And again, I'm sorry, I can't show you an actual photo, but car parts can be a bolo. So definitely uh, something to consider. This is a Jelly Cat Daphne Pomeranian plush toy. Picked up this new Jelly Cat Daphne Pomeranian plush toy from Goodwill for $8. Sold it for $31.77 plus $6.99 shipping. Had it listed on eBay and Mercari and received multiple offers but held out for asking price. This one is no longer available on the website and I'm not sure if it makes, I'm not sure if that makes it more valuable. Yeah, I would say that anything that is no longer avail available is definitely going to be more value. But Mercari is a, you can see the tag right there, a fantastic platform uh, to sell on. All right, guys, I recently did a video on the new fee structure for Mercari, and there was a lot of chitter chatter all over Facebook, Instagram, everywhere in my YouTube video. Everybody was kind of saying their thoughts and feelings about it. Um, let me know, how are your sales? Um, do you think this is affecting you in a positive way or a negative way? Do you like it or dislike it now that you've had time for it to kind of sit and settle in? <laughs> let me know down in the comments. I am still using List Perfectly to cross post my items to Mercari and Poshmark and sometimes Etsy. I start on eBay and then cross post. The catalog is fantastic and they have the new Pro Plus plan that's out. So definitely check that out. I do have a referral link for List Perfectly down below. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES. So definitely check that out if you are not cross posting. And Mercari is a great platform for plush. The next item is this vintage scrambled Mila Flori. I always say that wrong. Mila Flori art glass paperweight, hand blown. And she got it at a church sale for $1 and sold it for $65. And that is Berkshire Pickers. All right, let's look at the next one here. This is, oh my goodness, you guys, I just sold a vintage Laura Ashley tonight. So um, that will be in a future video. But she says, I spotted this 1980s made in Great Britain Laura Ashley dress from across the store at my local Hope of the Valley thrift store. I paid $9.74 for it, listed it at $115.88, and it sold for a best offer of $98.50 plus shipping. It took less than two months to sell and received multiple offers on this beauty. It sold to a buyer in Great Britain. So it's going back home. My store is Attic Affair. Thanks for sharing all your expertise. Yes, everybody, thank you for sharing your solds. Uh, this is a fantastic dress. Uh, mine went internationally also. I'm not sure which country it went to, but it was an international sale. Look at that. There you go. There you go. All right, let's look at the next one here, these sunglasses. Picked up these glasses at our local Goodwill for $3.99. They sat in our death pile for over a month, sold for pri uh, full price of $249.97 plus shipping in less than five hours. Uh, to the finds eBay store and Instagram antique B and L, uh, Bosch and Lom, 14 karat gold wire rim glasses with dark green lenses. And usually they're marked. Yep. Right there. You just got to know to look for it. And that's something I never knew about until my husband told me, he's like, you know, these can be gold. And I'm like, uh, no, I just thought they were cool sunglasses. <laughs> Nurse joy figure Pokemon toy series by I think it's Toomey 1998 retro, extremely rare and hard to find. Oh my goodness. Paid 33 cents for her. She was in a 99 cent baggie with two other toys. I knew vintage Pokemon sold well, but I must admit I didn't expect her to be this valuable. She's very rare. And the last one that sold went for $288 at auction. I initially listed her high on an auction listing, and within 17 minutes, I received an offer for $200. I declined the offer, hoping to get the full amount. Well, she had lots of watchers, but she didn't sell, so I ended the auction and offered her for $275 on a buy it now. I accepted an offer of $220. The buyer paid shipping, and this is an international sale. 
you guys, it's a Pokemon figure. $220. Is that incredible or what? Wowza. Okay, let's go on to the next one here. It says, my wife and I traveled to Bro Bridge, LA. I might be saying that wrong. For the citywide garage sale last November, we walked up to a sale that had the driveway and yard overflowing with boxes and piles. I spotted several cases of fan equipment and bought the lot for $20. This piece sold for the asking price of $1,800 dollars only listed for three days the buyer even paid to overnight it to england we've got more fan equipment listed 510 guy on ebay and texas junk guy on instagram oh my goodness would you guys have ever guessed that is incredible i mean i don't know what kind of fan it is but <laughs> it's a fan you want to find oh my goodness wow all right Let's look at another big money bolo. I picked up this oyster plate at an estate sale. The sale had been running all day and they were getting ready to close. I think I've been on Bolo Buddies, or I think I've seen on Bolo Buddies that oyster plates were good. And this one was just ugly enough to probably bring good money. I paid $5. I had to do some research, even subscribe to Worth Point to figure out what I had and how to price it. But in the end, I ran it on auction starting at $99 and it sold for $316. Thank you, Courtney, and all the Facebook mods for your time and hard work. Work The dog patch picker. Oh, you're welcome. And yes, I have talked about these in the past. Uh, definitely a big money bolo. I've never sold one, but somebody has or something I featured. But thank you so much for sharing. And thank you for appreciating the mods. They're fantastic in the Facebook group. And if you guys are thinking about WorthPoint, I do have a link down below. It's a referral link. So I would appreciate it if you guys use that. WorthPoint is fantastic. And I do have videos on how WorthPoint works if you want to think about maybe getting it for your reselling business. Um, if you type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint into the YouTube search bar, um, I've got some different tutorials there and how it's benefited me personally. I like to show that things work. Um, that I use for my business. All right. Lisa Frank, Hunter Leopard Purple Clear Mini Vintage Backpack. Bought this at the bins for $1.89 a pound, probably 50 cents. Sold within a few months. Not vintage, but still sold for a best offer of $50. It's a seven inch mini backpack. So it is, well, this says vintage. She put not vintage in the thing. So maybe she thought it was vintage and then somebody told her it wasn't vintage. But either way, the person buying it probably knew. Um, and it may be just not super, super vintage because I think the lowercase L and F is still vintage. I'm not 100 percent sure when the lowercase L and F came out. If you guys know, let me know um, in the comments. All right, here we go. Vintage Mattel Barbie Skipper Topper Don Francie Dolls Clothes Lot As Is. And bought this lot of vintage Barbie Topper Dawn Skipper doll and clothes for $10 at an estate sale. Finally listed them and sold them within an hour for $250. So if you do not know, vintage Barbie is very, very, very collectible. Um, Flippin' Friends is on Whatnot and she sells vintage Barbie clothing and dolls. So if you're not following Flippin' Friends on Whatnot, definitely check her out. But she has a ton of knowledge. So even if you just go in and watch, you're going to learn um, from her. She's going to educate you as she sells. So definitely check out Flippin' Friends on Whatnot. And she's also a mod of the Facebook group. So um, show her some love with a follow, you guys. All right. And, and she's going to be starting jewelry soon. I just talked to her about that today. So she's going to start selling jewelry on whatnot. So give her a follow. Um, Epiphone by Gibson SG electric guitar with carry case and extra strings. Found this at a garage sale about three weeks ago and paid 25 for it. Sold it on the third for 192 plus shipping, hoping the shared link lets you see the listing. Yep. I got it. Thank you so much. Um, Rachel's Resale Razzle Dazzle. The next item is, um, what is this thing? It's a pocket compass. I purchased this antique, I'm sorry, 1860s brass pocket compass by R&J Beck at my local Goodwill for $3.99. I did some research and found the same one that sold for 92, 
I took a chance and listed it on eBay at an auction starting at $99.95. It sold for $135.99. I will be keeping my eyes for small brass items. I'm everything seller. I'm an everything seller and sell on eBay as Thrift Lily. The next item is Nike Feather Light Cap Dry Fit Hat Run Tennis. Okay, this looks very normal to me. Um, I would not have looked at this and said, big money. Uh, don't sleep on hats. $2.99 at my local Goodwill. These hats sell decent, even used. They don't make them anymore. Happened across a brand new one. Only other listed was for $160 on another website. Sold in a couple of weeks. So it's a dry fit hat. Wow. That's that's pretty amazing. $124.99. The next item is just shocking to me. Okay. It did sell in Canada. Super rare Axe Body Wash Rubber Ducks. Switzerland, France themed, aggressive, and angry. <laughs> so I don't know if this is because of everybody that drives the Jeeps and they pass the ducks around, or if this is more popular in Canada. I don't know if these are popular in the US, but oh my goodness. She said, found these Axe Body Wash Promo Rubber Ducks at my local community sale. Best part, I found them in the free bin. So 100% profit here. I knew Axe Body Wash toy ducks were valuable and bolos, but didn't know these would sell for this much. Turns out these ones were very rare and not produced very much. So anyway, sold them, as you can see, for $114.95. So that's a uh, Canadian dollars. Sold for full asking price. I am in Canada and love this community sale that is on every spring here. My eBay page is Retroactive Mart. Also sell on Etsy under that name too. I have a newer YouTube channel as well called Retroactive Mart where I deal mostly in vintage and retro toys and media. Thanks. My first time ever doing this. Love the Bolo Buddies Facebook group and YouTube channel, but we need more Canadian love. Thanks, guys. All right, you guys, go on over to Retroactive Mart on YouTube and give a follow. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. The April share post is up. Go share your Bolo and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, Thanks for watching.